Hey, what's up everyone? Out here trying to enjoy another hike. Uh, the hikes have been few and far between these days. We are in some strange times right now where everyone should be hunkering down, doing this thing called social distancing because of a virus that's going around, COVID-19. Anyway, uh, yeah, I am going to attempt to follow up on that video, I, my last hiking video I did where we went looking for a mine. Now I'm heading up this canyon here, and if you haven't seen my last video, the significance of the mine is that some guy who murdered his girlfriend's, his ex-girlfriend's lover, was able to spy on her from this mine looking down into this neighborhood down here. So, in my last video, I went up the left fork, and it's kind of hard to see because it's not very defined, but there's a middle fork right here, and then a right fork over there. I'm gonna explore the middle fork in this video. So this will be good for me. Uh, I've been getting out, getting as much exercise as I should, so I've been dying to do something like this. So in my last video I said this might be a two-part series, but now I'm thinking it's going to be more of a three-part series because I haven't found a ton of info on the case. So it's important that if I'm going to talk about something like this that I do know what the facts are. So this is more of an exploratory video, just trying to see if I can find the mine. In the last video, I found a mine, but I was told it was a different mine, so we'll see what we can find. All right, so for you locals, I started out at the 9th Street, the 9th Street Trailhead, and I'm basically heading straight up the canyon. Um, that's at the top of it. So there's a lot of trails that kind of loop around and stuff, but the one I'm on, or about to be on, just goes straight up the canyon. Look at this, we got some snow this morning. Actually, it's been snowing quite a bit here this week, which is great for our desert, but uh, Ready for some warmer weather, especially if, you know, that kills this crazy coronavirus going around. So I didn't want to make this video about coronavirus, but while I'm walking, I might as well walk and talk. Um, we hit like 600 cases here in Utah, so... Let me know below what it's like in your state, but that number jumped significantly. We've only had two deaths, but I don't know. It's a, the virus is still pretty new to Utah in that regard. I mean, we were made aware of it about three weeks ago. And if you've been following the news, it takes anywhere from like five days to two weeks to set in. But yeah, my wife and I are really trying to hunker down, but it's amazing to see how many people either don't believe or refuse to believe that this could be a serious problem. I heard a statistic yesterday that said if it were possible, which it's not, to put everything on pause for two weeks, that this thing could go away. But. Obviously that can't happen. Um, Utah's not in a lockdown yet. I have my beliefs as to why that is, but I won't worry about sharing them here because it's political. But uh, I don't see that being too far off if the trajectory keeps skyrocketing. We were pretty hopeful because it looks like 
sorry for all the breathing heavy, but it looks like, you know, it's starting to taper off, but then overnight it jumped like 120 cases. All right, I'm at a crossroads where I need to decide which way to go. So this is the left fork. I went up that way a couple weeks ago, but I'm thinking this is where I need to go. And it's just behind this ridge, hopefully. Anyway, I'll keep on trekking and see what I find. This is social distancing at its finest. We're heading up this draw right here. Not much of a trail. This area is pretty cool. I haven't really explored it before. And I'm glad to be doing it now while there's no rattlesnakes because I can imagine there's a bunch, but I'm just down in this valley. Just gonna probably trek up that way. I think this is the right for over here, so. A lot of cool rock formations up here though. That is one thing I'll say. Looks like this might be somebody's hideout. here now. Be a good place to hide out. But yeah, I hope I'm on the right track. This one, this trail seems to be leading me to the right. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and see if I can't get up the middle fork. Like I said, it's a lesser known trail so Let's see. Somebody climbing around up there. I'm not following any sort of trail, but I do think I am in the middle fork. This is what we came up. And I'll just keep going up this way. This feels good. It's good for my soul to be out here. I didn't bring the dog with me because last time we got into an area that was a little sketchy for him. He's not much of a mountain dog, as much as I want him to be. I guess I should take him on stuff, but I kind of wanted to get up here quick and see what I could see and then head back down. Oh, I don't know, I found a little trail. Might be a game trail though. It's a bit of a scramble to get up here. So uh, another thing too is Utah's actually had a series of earthquakes. We had a 5.6 or 7. There's a bunch of aftershocks since then. I only felt the aftershocks the day of, but it was pretty sketchy. I've never experienced anything like that. So that was crazy to add to all this. See the spray painted rock up there. I might go explore that. Yeah. Somebody stashed an old tarp up here. And then that's what I saw. This pink thing looks like it's all shot up. Let's see what we got. It's kind of a cool area. This is interesting. Looks like an, it's an old safe. Obviously it's been here for a while. Got shot up. I wonder if somebody stole it and ditched it. I don't know who lugged it all the way up here though. See those guys up there? That's where I was in the last video. Nestled down there is that geological survey that shows how the plates move when there's an earthquake. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty sure I'm in the middle fork. I just climbed, climbed up the ridge a little bit. But uh, I'll head back down in there and see what I can see. Sorry to show you pictures of poop, but I've been noticing a lot of deer poop up here. And on the last hike, I even saw moose poop. This is the first time I've seen poop like this. If you're an expert, is this bobcat or cougar poop? I don't know. I mean, it could always be dog, but 
This isn't a very popular trail, so I don't see any paw prints around here though because it rains, so I don't know. Anyway, getting deeper up into this canyon. Definitely found a little bit more of an established trail. Still could be a game trail or a just less popular trail, but it's getting pretty promising. The uh, direction that I was given this time around, or that, uh, oh yeah, on top of that, sorry. Oh, guys, I found it. Holy cow. Look at this. <laughs> that was completely by accident. Well, not by accident, I mean, I'm not here looking for it. Okay, let me just show you the mine. Look at this thing. Wow. Definitely not gonna go in it. I don't know how far back it goes. Just because I don't have a flashlight or anything. But yeah, you can pretty much stand straight up in it. I mean, look at this. So, crazy guys, here it is, well, it wasn't too hard to get to, and you definitely get a view of the neighborhood, unlike the other mine, oh, more of that poop, that's another reason why I don't want to go in, don't want to go into like a cougar cave or something. Yeah, you can see the neighborhood from here. I don't know which house was his ex-girlfriend's. So, uh, you know, it, it, I, what I was told it was down here somewhere and he could just chill up here and spy on her and watch her and her new boyfriend come and go and that's when he went down and killed her. Or not her, the boyfriend. Yeah, there's more of that scat, I don't know. Yeah, this is quite the mine, actually. This is uh, way different than the other two I've explored. All right, took a second to uh, gather my thoughts about this. Um, I just, just that I wasn't expecting to find it when I did and I was in the middle of a story. I don't even remember what I was talking about. And uh, all of a sudden I see the mine. So um, if you didn't watch my last video, I'll put all the, the name in the description below of the guy. But yeah, real quick, the story goes, this guy was pretty distraught over the breakup of his, him and his girlfriend. And at some point he took to the mountains and, uh, and hit up, you know, in this area with the mine. And he could, you know, pop out and kind of see what was going on down in the neighborhood down below. Just kind of, I, I guess he had binoculars or whatever, but supposedly he was, spying on his ex-girlfriend down there and at some point he went down shot the ex-boyfriend or shot the new boyfriend the girlfriend got injured the ex-girlfriend got injured by a, a stray bullet and the guy obviously went to prison um, I don't know if he's still alive in prison I haven't been able to find that I did find an article uh, dated a few years back I'll link that below that he uh, spent his time in jail uh, knitting some blankets or, or something for, for infants to kind of help him feel better about what he did because he, he did he knew he did something seriously wrong anyway um, there's gonna be more to the story and I definitely want to go explore that thing uh, I don't have the equipment and probably would want to get somebody you know professional to go in there with me so if that's you let me know and uh, We'll go check it out. But yeah, and you know, with the way that uh, we just had that earthquake, you don't know how unstable that is in there. So yeah, I'm just glad to have found it. This is actually a really cool area. You can see how this would be a perfect spot to camp. Like you have this nice flat area. Looks like people have obviously been up here since then. And then, you know, to get out of the elements, you could just crawl into the entrance of that mine uh, it is a little unsettling though uh, might be 
acting a little dramatic about that scat, but on the way up to was a deer carcass. So either it died of natural causes or something took it down. But no signs of like bones or anything to make this a den. I don't know what cougars do though. Oh, there's a bunch of deer up there watching me. Do you see them? Clear it up there, I'll zoom in. Maybe they aren't deer, maybe they're rocks. <laughs> I do have 20-20 vision. I think they're deer, we'll zoom in and see. But yeah, <laughs> this was a fun little adventure. Glad I checked it out. Um, more of this to come. So this is gonna probably be a three-part series. How about that? Instead of a part, two-part, like I said. But I'm um, gonna head back down and enjoy the rest of my night in isolation with my wife. <laughs> this fall we've been doing is just hanging out, so it's been really good to get out. Hopefully you guys are staying safe. Uh, the whole Utah directive right now is stay home, stay safe. Uh, might seem like a bit of a hypocrite being out here and telling you to stay home, but I took all the precautions not going to stop anywhere on the way home. I usually like to get a snack. Not going to do that. Um, didn't come in contact with anyone, especially within six feet. That's the directive there. So if you are going to go outdoors, make sure that you are practicing this whole social distancing thing. Sorry to make that this video about that, but uh, that's what's been on everybody's minds. Minds. <laughs> dad joke. I'm not even a dad. Um, but yeah. So, I'm gonna end this thing. But first, I wanna tell you a little bit about the equipment I use to make these videos. I use the DJI Osmo Pocket, and I bought the little control wheel adapter, and attached to that is the audio extension with a microphone. The microphone is this lav mic, it's powered DYs. Um, I'll link all this below, got them off Amazon. Got the, uh, the Osmo off of their website, but you can get it off Amazon too, which I'll link that below. I love this microphone. It has developed a little bit of a buzz, which isn't ideal. Um, can't really hear it with the background music going, but uh, it's a great company. I did have an issue with one of their connectors too, and they just refunded it, or not refunded it, but sent a new one. So I'm gonna definitely bring that up to them, see if I can get a, a new mic. I haven't had it for a year, but for the price and as many times as I've taken it out and used it, I think that's a little expected, um, especially since it's a cabled uh, lav mic. You know, anything can snag and stuff. I go through some pretty rough stuff. Anyway, uh, that's the equipment I used on this hiking adventure. I also use the Mavic Air and sometimes the DJI uh, Action, the Osmo Action. That's the one I usually strap to Dewey. And those are definitely deer up there. I can see them moving now. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's fun to get out and adventure, find some cool new stuff, especially this was like a two minute drive from my house. I could have walked here if I wanted to, but there's a big highway in between. I'm rambling. Anyway, you know what to do. Comment below what you'd like to see more of check the description for the story that I've been telling you about this guy and this mine shaft and everything. And uh, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Anyway, again, stay safe everyone. Don't get sick. Peace. Peace.